Hi there guys, this is Phil and this is Comic Car Talk and we got right here Silver Surfer Black number one. Now I talked about in my Guardians of the Galaxy video how since Donnie Cates is writing both Guardians and Venom that it would be cool if we could if we could get a crossover between the two titles. You know, as a matter of convenience and all that. And reading this comic and knowing that Donnie Cates is writing it, it's a sign that it might happen, given how this story unfolds here in this issue. And I'll and I'll get to that in a bit. But first off, I just want to say that I really love the Silver Surfer, okay? I don't know if he's my favorite Marvel character, but he is definitely up there, you know, in my favorite Marvel characters. I just love the look of the guy. I love his power set. I love that he has near limitless power, but he just wants to go out and explore the universe, you know? He just wants to experience absolute freedom since all he's known throughout most of his life, throughout most of his existence, is just servitude to higher powers, people beings more powerful than he is who are capable of so much change and silver surfer he's just along for the ride until eventually he decides you know what i just want to be a guy who just just goes out and explore the universe on my surfboard and that's it you know and sometimes the best sur silver surfer stories for me are the kinds where they can be as well really as far out as possible you know what i mean it can be just a huge, major, colorful trip. It makes you go, whoa, was I slip drugs while reading this? Or were the people making this on drugs? And if so, can I have some? Do you have seconds? <laughs> but yeah, so Silver Surfer Black is kind of a spinoff of Donny Cates' Guardians of the Galaxy run, written by Donny Cates himself. In which, at the end of the first issue, the, a lot of the Marvel Cosmic characters were sucked into a black hole, and a few got out. And Silver Surfer Black is a story about Silver Surfer being trapped in that black hole and trying to get himself out. And which he does. As for other Marvel Cosmic characters, their fates were revealed in Guardians of the Galaxy Annual. Now, we see Silver Surfer going to some strange planet with filled with strange beings and of course he he beats them with his power cosmic and like a lot of silver surfer comics i've read it he's he does a lot of pensive thinking you know because yeah the silver surfer is a very pensive person he's always thinking about his life his life history how, where how he got from being just a simple astronomer to somehow becoming just a sil shiny silver being on a surfboard exploring the universe. And I like that. I like how he's just this guy who just likes to think. He, he thinks so much and is so in tune with being just part, part of the greater cosmic experience, I guess. So, by, yeah, so there's a lot of that in that issue much like a bunch of other Silver Surfer comics I've read. And by the end, and of course, by the end of the story, we see that Silver Surfer meets up with Null, the god of the symbiotes. Oh yeah. And that right there is what makes me think that this could be sort of the link between Guardians and Venom because I don't know. I mean, maybe after Absolute Carnage, if if Null is still around after that, maybe Venom will be like, oh, you know what? Screw this. I'm taking the fight to Null myself. And he's going to need all the help he can get. He'll have to team up with the Guardians and the Silver Surfer and whoever else will be crazy enough to go with Venom to, to Clintar and take on Null himself. I don't know. I mean, right now, it's just the first issue of this series and Absolute Carnage is yet to happen and Guardians of the Galaxy is still still going it's still um like at maybe uh at issue seven or eight right now or, i don't know there's gonna be another issue coming out soon but yeah i've been loving donny cates stuff like i said like i said before this guy he really brings a certain intensity to his work and this comic right here 
This comic right here, it's no different. And like I said, it is definitely a trip and definitely worth picking up. All right. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about it. I'm Phil. This has been Comic Card Talk. And I'll talk to you later. Take care.